Alright, so it's been a really long time since I've done a Wu Calls Art update, and I figured why not do one. Um, this is more relating to how the new uh, SAG strike in the US will affect filming in Canada. Um, so, as you may or may not know, Wu Calls of Hearts season 10 is going to be dropping by the end of the month, and they're actually going to start filming season 11 while season 10 is airing. Um, I think there will be issues because the writers and the actors in the US are on strike. I don't know how it's going to affect them exactly. It sounds like from a statement from Brian Bird that the Canadian actors will be shooting. I don't know if that means that the American ones won't. Um, Erin Krakow, as far as I know, is an American citizen and a part of SAG, so I'm assuming she's striking. And um, Jack Wagner, who plays Bill in the show, also is an American citizen and I'm assuming a part of SAG and is also striking, I would imagine. Um, I don't know if Canadian actors aren't a part of SAG and it's only for American Guild actors. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but it sounds like the Canadian part of the cast, which would be Nathan and um, Lucas and Rosemary and Lee and the Canfields, a chunk of the cast is all Canadian. Um, the only one I can think of offhand that isn't would be Bill and Elizabeth aren't Canadian. Um, how it'll affect filming, it, I'm assuming the script's already written, so the writer's strike probably won't affect season 11, and it sounds like the actor's strike. I don't know if Erin's not striking, I'm assuming she is, so I don't know how she'd be able to film a project right now. Um, I find that kind of confusing. I don't know the ins and outs, but from what I understand, they can't do much of anything as an actor, like, you can't audition. You can't um, shoot principal photography, which would be what they're doing up there. You can't even have fittings from what it sounds like. I have seen um, selfies on set from different actors who have gotten fittings. I know that characters for like Opal and Mei Su have gotten fittings. Um, so it seems like they're still going on that. But... I'm not exactly sure what they're going to do with the, can, the American part of the cast, just because I'm assuming they're on strike, and I don't know how long that strike's going to last, and I imagine that's going to affect the film schedule. Um, they generally film towards August, so that's coming up. Um, I don't know if they're just going to try and shoot all of the scenes with Canadian actors and leave all of, like, errands for later, but she is the lead, so I really don't see how you're going to avoid shooting her stuff, and... As far as I understand it, I would imagine that Hallmark would be under what um, studios that the actors can act for. Like, as far as I know, they can't act for anyone. Obviously, they're striking against very big ones like Warner Bros. and Disney and Paramount. But, um, as far as I understand, they can't work for really any professional production company. So, that would include Crown Media and Hallmark. So, I'm kind of confused on how that works. I'm assuming it's killing most of production. I don't know how One Calls Heart is even doing it right now, because I thought the Canadian actors would be affected, but apparently they must have their own guild up there. Um, but yeah, this is the first time in 60 years that both the actors and the writers have been on strike at the same time, and also the first time since like 1980 that the actors have been. So, it's a pretty big deal. It's going to kill production. It's going to slow it down a whole bunch um, in anything. Whether that's Hallmark Channel movies, or mysteries, or shows. Like, The Way Home. That's going to be a struggle trying to shoot that because I don't know if the script's even written. And that's going to slow production if it's not written because the writers can't do anything. And a chunk of the cast is American, so they won't be able to film. And, yeah, it's going to cause a lot of delays, which sucks as an audience, but, I mean, I get it. I think the actors are right to strike, um, just because I'm interested in the whole film-making industry and entering it, and it's important that somebody hold the fort for the newer generation who will come up, and if they don't really take a stand fairly soon... Um, they're just going to lose it completely to AI. And it sounds like one of the bigger problems that they have with production companies 
and why they're striking in general is talks between them and the union about AI use. Uh, it sounds like one of the proposals was that um, if a actor came on set for even one day and was hired for a one day shoot, the production company would be able to use their image and likeness uh, through AI into infinity. They would never have to pay that actor for it later. They would just pay them for that one day and then never have to again, which would be insane. So think of it, if you could get Daniel Lissing, say, to Cameo, you could use his face and likeness into infinity to Cameo through AI without ever having to pay him for the rights of it or for usage at all. Um, and another thing was this, the general pay grade, apparently, I think it's 87% of actors make 27000 or something, not enough to clear health insurance. So it's not the big time actors that are suffering and struggling by what they make. They make millions and millions and millions of dollars. It's not about the money for the big actors because they're making bank. Um, they make more than most people in the world will ever dream of making. It's that as a union, it's protecting the smaller and bigger wage earners in the group. So anyone who's struggling now because of a premiere, they're like, oh, the premiere of Barbie and Oppenheimer, all those premiere parties and pressers are canceled now. Those tours aren't happening because those actors are on strike. Um, like Florence Pugh or whoever, they're not struggling financially because of it and they won't but they're standing with the union in general because that's how they get jobs and it's also about the smaller section the bigger but smaller earning section of actors union in general doesn't make that much um and it's really expensive to be in entertainment and to have to live close to or commute to la or any big city really that's a production house so that's the update on one calls a heart um there's tons of promos that they're dropping rosemary's pregnant there's gonna be this spring in town nathan's got a dog um there's gonna be some new kids um it sounds like there's gonna be a new triangle around nathan i'm not really gonna be watching season 10 um, but I will maybe do a couple more updates. This was mostly on the actual production side of One Calls a Heart and how the strike will affect it. So if you have any questions or if you know more than me, which is totally possible, go throw them in the comments. I would love to find out more. Um, I'm also on Instagram, so you can DM me. My handle's actually different, and it's it's Elizabeth Video Edits um, instead of Elizabeth Studio. But... Anyway, feel free and reach out. Um, if this video is helpful or interesting, please smash that subscribe and drop a like. And that's everything. I hope you have a great day.